Hello guys, welcome to my channel How to Learn. In this video, we are going to discuss about iterated design pattern in Java. Okay, and first of all, it is a behavioral design pattern, guys. We have many kind of design patterns in behavioral uh, uh, design patterns. Okay, in that category, and iterated design pattern belongs to that. Okay, and it is also known as cursor. And uh, which comes to the definition of iterated design pattern, you can simply say like. It provides a way to access elements of an aggregate object sequentially without exposing it underlying representation. Okay, and if you want some real life example, I can simply say like, suppose guys, now uh, you have mobile, right? In mobile, we have the music player, right? And in that, we have list of songs listed, and we can play the particular songs by song by traversing to the song list by selecting the desired song. Okay. And the advantages of the iterator design pattern is it is easy to implement and readable, and it follows single responsibility principle and open close principle in solid principles. Okay, and if it's come to uh, if you want some daily life example of iterator design pattern, you can take the YouTube guys. Here I can uh, iterate to my desired video like. I can go through video by video by travel by clicking on this next button. I don't know what is happening in the back end. Okay, but what is uh, I don't know the underlying implementation in the back end, but I can go to my uh, desired video which I want to play by traversing one by one. Okay, it is one of the best example. And if you have, I think so you have you guys know Java if you are watching this video and you have iterator right for iterating the collections, array list and the hash set uh, like that. We have iterator in Java. We are always using it, but but we don't know the internal implementation. Okay, now we are going to implement that. First of all, I have created a uh, project and a package here. Let's create two interfaces. One interface name is container, and another interface name is iterator. Okay, and let's. Let's do one thing. In iterator, let's declare some methods. Boolean, hash next, object next. Okay. Here I want another method to be declared, which have return type is iterator, and the method name is. Get iterator. As it is interface, these are all abstract methods. And let's create some class, which name is names repo, and which implements container interface. Okay. Now here let's declare a list, an array list. List of string list equal to new array list. And let's import the packages. And let's add some data here. List dot add. Let's add some names to it. Okay, and now here as it is an interface, like sorry, as the this method return type is iterator, we want some iterator to be implemented here. So let's create some class name name iterator here. Which implements iterator interface. Okay. We have to override the existing methods in iterator interface. Okay. And it's a inner class. And let's declare a variable known as index. Okay, based on the index only, we are going to iterate these elements. 
let's write some code here if index is less than list dot size then return true okay else it will return false and here what we do means let's write some if condition if this dot hash next return list dot get index index plus plus okay let's save it guys and let's create some a main class which where we can test the implementation okay let's have some main method here now we can start testing names repo repo equal to new names repo and let's write some for loop here which returns iterator by using the get iterator method okay and here we are going to iterate the loop by using this iterator method okay and let's print the data which is present in the list okay now let's run the application first let's check whether it is working or not whether we made any mistake yeah we have some issue here and i think so guys we, we forgot to return uh, names iterator here so we are getting the problem let's return the names iterator okay and now let's uh, run it again let's check what the output yep we are getting the list print and guys now i will explain flow how the how the iterator design pattern is working okay first of all we have created an object for the names repo and here we have written some for loop okay here what we are doing we have created an reference for iterator interface okay and what we are doing means we are just initializing it with repo dot get iterator repo dot get iterator means it will return the names iterator object okay it will return the name iterator reference okay guys and what happens when we when it uh, returning the name iterator object it means it it is it can access hash next method and next method from the name iterator class okay and here every time it will call the hash next method whether it will check whether the index size is less than list dot size or not if the index size is less than list dot size it will return true and it will go to inside of for loop and it will print the elements okay like that the flow works guys if you have any queries please comment it in comment section and for code you can check my blog which have more explanation and for every step okay like step one step two step three and also you can get my code on github okay i will paste this blog link in description guys you can utilize it okay and thank you for watching my video please like and subscribe my